having a guest uh, and a speaker for today's webinar that is uh, Salja Pujari ma'am. Uh, she is uh, a student of CFTRA currently. She is pursuing her second year. She is uh, and uh, she has been in uh, very helping for the guiding students and uh, clearing all the queries. Uh, she is, has been you know, continuously supporting all the, I mean, from the last year also, we have been inviting her. Okay. So, uh, for, welcome, Salja, for, from the team of AgriVision for you, for myself. Thank you. Thank, thank you for, yeah, thank you for giving us your time. So, as uh, now we have uh, completed our half century, 52, it's okay. Yeah. So, uh, majorly this, this webinar I'm going to introduce uh, what it is going to be about. Okay. So please be, I mean, listen all the things carefully, whatever your doubts you can put in the chat box and in the uh, last of the me will be also giving you a time to speak it out. Okay. Now, uh, I would like to know Asalja first question from uh, you is like, can you just brief what is CFTRI? Uh, uh how what are the people who is going to be eligible for that in general okay uh, hello guys uh, cftra as you all know it's a premier university for food technologies in generally all science background students can apply who are having four years course credits and uh, who, there are so many doubts people having like uh, third year we can't apply you can apply only if you are you are sure that at the admission time you are able to uh, what apply give the certificates of final semester also. only that case you can apply now or else uh, try to not to apply if you want to give a try you can give a try but if you want to give for exam and you want to go for classes then you have to make sure while admission you have to give all the documents for fourth year also okay you can go for university uh, request so that you want early that is it depends on you and next to cftri you all know why you are preparing why people are very having hype because of its uh, education quality and research over here cftri is one of the premium uni university for institute related to food industries okay all food industries try to come for cft because they are having so many well-developed equipments whatever might be there but it is very premium and very good good quality of education is also there. that is the main reason and uh, further more doubts you can proceed okay so yeah so as as like how now i'll just summarize what salja told so sal uh, i mean cftri is basically central food food uh, technology research institute right and nearby that you might have heard there's a dfrl defense food research laboratory so as Selja was mentioning why it is a premier and more demanding the hype is because because of its facilities it is one of the you uh, know state of art uh facilities for research and you know equipments are there and dfrl is quite famous for making the foods for the army and i uh, know space food basically okay Another good thing is people generally ask about what is the placement. So generally, uh, it's a very good placement is there for the CFTRI. Also, at the same time, if someone is wishing to go for higher studies, they also have a very good opportunity because as for any research institution, the majority is it, it have a, in, in, I mean, uh, professors, how much you know, they're old and how much old institution is, how the equipment and facilities are there. Now, another thing Sarja mentioned is farm the farm so generally a lot of uh, people ask me the questions are either if i'm in second year or third year can i fill the farm or not so what she told is if you are in third year you can apply for the exams so no doubt uh you have to fill the i mean application in the application you have to fill all the documents up to second semester or let's say you are in uh, i mean you are in third year so you have to fill the uh, do uh, documents up to fourth semester that means second year and if you're in the four, four year degree, you have to submit the documentary of third year up to. Now, if you get selected, you must produce all the semester documents. So that means you will need to be, you must uh, be qualified. That means your degree should have completed. Either you need a provisional degree or a degree. It, it depends on the, I mean, no? so provisional is more, uh, most of the times in many institutions, provisional is enough that you is to get as a uh, everything grade card and from the university. So that is one of the very important thing. Okay. Now, uh, so Salja, uh, now the second 
second part of this is like people generally used to have a confusion level you know uh, when should we start the preparation now it's it's already there the 7th august is going to have examination so people are now i mean sometimes what happens generally in india and many of the examination when notification come almost 30 to 40 people 30 uh, 30 to 40 percent people they start trying there there are a couple of people who is due to start from long back i mean years back or two years back okay according to you what should be the timing and if someone has taken steps to prepare once notification came what should be the strategy for them okay uh, guys it entirely depends on the person okay uh, there might be a person who starts at the end can clear there might be a person who starts at the first can clear it's only depend on the on the concepts which are clear TFTRA exam is only based on the basics. Everything questions they ask, it might be you might feel so huge syllabus, but it is only basic. If you are clear with basic, if you are having your basics at your fingertips, you can clear TFTRA very easily. And one more thing, for the person who are not belonging to food to tech background, they might feel they have to prepare. Yes, they have to prepare early. They have to prepare because you are not a food tech background. So you have to literally have some of the information related. See, CFTRA is all about food technology. It purely asks applied questions. When you know very basic points, then you can apply anything anywhere, okay? So basics should be very confirm and very perfect. You should be very well known with the basic tips. Whatever might be the question, you should be well known with the basics. Even though you are seeing the syllabus, it's only basic. Don't go so deep into that so that you require more time. If you go for very basic point, no, that is more than enough for the time. And uh, at the end the moment, I suggest not to go for any more books. Don't go for any more books. Try solving question papers. As of you know, CFTR will not give any question paper out. There are so many students who have interestingly taken memory-based questions and they given. Uh, there are so many uh, websites which are also providing quiz for you, mock tests. Take that. But don't go at the end different books. No more references. You should go at this peak time where you have to go for only multiple multiple times of questions. Make sure you go more number of questions with. See, uh, people go more number of questions, only one topic. Don't do that foolishness also. Only one topic will be not covered in entire CFTR exam. There are so many topics. One topic maximum. Keep some limits for each and every topic. You should cover all the questions. It's not like I'm strong in this topic. Yeah, it's, if you are strong in that topic, make sure you are much stronger. But it's not like if you are not strong in the other topic, you are not touching it. No, the person might, other person might be the strong in that topic, and he might get a chance of your seat. So this, it's all depend on your, uh, your self confidence. How you preparing? Okay. It's nothing like if I start on first year, I'll be clearing. No, it's your strategy. How you apply it. It's your capacity. How you read, how you do it. Only thing is you should be very consistent in all the studies, all subject matters. It's not like I leave this subject because I don't know. No, you have to touch even that also. Might be sometimes it's not there. There is no blueprint as such for CFTRA. They might ask. This year, they might ask more agri questions. Next year, they might ask more biochemistry questions. Same, it happens. It changes. Or it, sometimes they may ask equal weightage for all the subjects. So it's like you have to prepare all the subjects equal importance. You should give every subject is some at least some basic try basic concept. You should be well known with the basic concepts. Yeah, I mean, this was really awesome, Salja, how you explained it. Uh, so generally, people, I mean, uh, in agrivision for you also, but the people who are studying for the last six months with uh, Anchor Bash and in the last two months also, who some like a lot of people who joined in this uh, crash course also, but they asked me, sir, can we leave this mathematics part? Suppose can we leave this physics part? So what you heard is, I'll request uh, everyone, please uh, now stop messaging in the chat box. Just listen carefully. In the last, we'll be having enough time to go for. Okay, now. So if you see what she told is like you shouldn't be you know, differentiating, you shouldn't be making a discrimination about the mathematics and physics and food engineering and general ability and agriculture and dairy, dairy technology. You should give equal weightage, equal importance to everything. I mean, every subject. Now, last year, one thing, you know, very, very well, 
last year this thing changed like uh, i mean whole syllabus got changed before that also it was different you know and last year it was 10 subjects okay only last year it happened and mental ability and general awareness came into existence and after that uh, almost i i we just have uh, with our uh, with the help of my last year students also and uh, this year i i had an analysis of what are the i mean no probable question that has come last year what part they have given a more importance so yeah i'll i'll be showing that i'll be sending guys okay now another thing is what salzer told is cover it and in last moment i mean no the word generally people do is let's say you are having a 60 day now it's a 12th already so 18 and it, it's almost 50 day in 7th of august so if you are starting now you don't go for several books let's say if you're going to study mathematics you have you don't prefer to read the whole book if you're going for the uh, you know uh, agriculture so you have a generally four or five things let's say you are gathering the study material the second thing is you're finding out what to study and what not to study what to what should be left what should be consider now the third thing is how much practice you are doing the fourth thing is you should to take sanjeev kumar sharma and, and other books lot of books are there i don't know i mean i just have heard like some previous or i mean memory based questions are there so you can touch but i have seen a pattern even salja mentioned about that none of the questions repeated almost we just have a rough idea i don't know i'm not sure about that i would like to, i'd like to ask the salja have questions repeated in last year questions any time no i have never seen new questions repeating there are like that even some they won't give question paper also that is also a matter okay yes yes These yes students who are quickly interested they have some memory based questions they have written and there there is a book also but no where questions are repeated no where exactly exactly you know so i mean I, i even i i'm not sure about how many books are there which has a, this books and all how many groups are there where you get the questions and all but yeah you don't go random so anything any any study or any any uh, examination to be prepared you need to get a plan right either you can make a self study planner either you can go for what exactly you know i mean you can connect with the seniors or you can refer to the any mentorship program which is available in the you know domain of yours if you know someone if you believe okay so that is totally up, uh, you know it's, it totally depends on you but the major thing is how you select everything to study so that's what her opinion was so in in summary what we can say is uh, don't go i mean you know, uh, here and there for just you no know, searching for all the all the time okay now salja so just i'll be having a quick one by one subject wise questions so just tell the students like is strategy let's the people is to fear a lot about mathematics and mathematics has the part from a long back so what is your opinion about that mathematics i think don't go for so many sources for mathematics mathematics ncert is the best there are some questions which like they probably ask like matrices differential equation integration these are some concepts which they uh, frequently they have been asked these concepts make sure you are well known with there are some students who are very much afraid of mathematics and they just want to skip the mathematics don't do that it's it's very easy subject mathematics it's all about life you can do it very easily don't scare don't get scared there are some uh, like hardly two four five topics are there which you can do very easily go for ncert only ncert is the best for every solutions pcmb these four are the major topics for the safety air preparation these topics will never change okay these four main subjects will never change so make sure you are well known anyhow all science background people will be having pcb combinations very well known only mathematics some might find difficulties but don't worry doing some problems is not a big deal you can do it exactly okay. i totally agree with you salja because uh, what happened yesterday was uh, from i mean from uh, past few days i'm taking mathematics classes for cftra batch so what i felt is what could be the best according to i saw previous papers and what i felt is like ncert is going to be the best option if someone is able to get ncert and they are able to solve the one few exercises and some exemplary i mean examples it is you are going to cover 10 questions so last year 10 questions came from mathematics and generally what was the important trigonometry differentiation and it was the matrices it was the some of the important topic that uh, no last year of students of mine they, they mentioned okay now so Uh, in summary, what we can say, as I told, don't fear with mathematics. You at least go because why you know 
you are if you are going to fear if you are going to leave mathematics you are neglecting your chance of chance of getting getting selected why because i'll tell you let's say there are five aspirants among them three they are good at all the seven or eight subjects and they are also good in mathematics and if you are going to leave the mathematics you already has uh, you know back up them so they will be surely getting someone who is trying for at least five percent of mathematics so please don't do or uh, no don't leave mathematics if you can go through uh, if you know if you are from bio background generally while reading the physics while studying the physics in 11 12 we should to go for the basic mathematics that is differentiation integration or basic trigonometry so either you can join somewhere we can uh, i know we are we have also lot of subject wise uh, also so we'll i'll show you so you can go for that as well and you can i know prefer to have someone in like to guidance now the next thing is alja what about the physics what should we search for physics yeah physics i am saying no pcmb r you uh, surely you go for uh, ncert only guys i want to say this also if you are afraid of uh, maths you'll be afraid of physics also there are so many related things physics and maths are uh, very related like sister types so you should don't you should not skip your skipping mathematics then you you'll be surely facing problem with physics see if a person is well good in mathematics he can clear physics also so he is plus 2 there yeah yeah zero and he'll be plus 2 so don't do that there are not much applied so much uh, tricky questions like iit and all you can surely do cftra because it is all about basic all about basic literally you can do it but only thing is you should have the confidence and little bit of hard work hard work is must and should wherever you do not only for cftra for every exams you should do hard work the thing is you should have confident also but never ever dare to skip the topics if you skip the topics you should be very well versed in other topics like you should be expert in other topics so that if you you can dare to skip the one topic see if i am very well versed i know biology everything in not even single marks i'll lose in biology then you can skip for mathematics but if you skip mathematics you will surely lose marks in physics also so don't do like that there are so many students who are afraid of some students are afraid of agriculture also don't do that agriculture is not that tough topic you might feel or they might ask the scientific uh, name of plants i can't be i can't have that in memory so that i can remember so many plants no no they will ask only food related you are not going to get remem- memorized all the plants which are like authentic plants like uh, not aesthetic plants also you are getting rem- memorized not even so plants which are not related to your forestry you are not memorizing you are memorizing only food that to ma- major foods like rice you can memorize guys you can have to know rice rice maize wheat whatever you are having daily use only those questions will be there so don't even uh, try to skip agriculture also for every topic i'll say you pcmb you, you must and should go for nc or only don't try to follow any other strategies or any other book at this peak moment please surely don't do that and for microbiology there is so many things are there but microbiology also <clears throat> go for basic stuff only don't go for so mo- so much applied type of microbiology should know basic that is more than enough for agriculture i'll say agriculture book competitive book of name rasunda that is more than enough don't need to go for so many things and at this peak moment try to solve only questions no more extra no more new topics to be studied yet. don't do that no topics should be studied and for the person who are trying to appear for next year and i'm having like uh, they want to prepare from now i'll say first you go through the question paper until unless you do go through the question paper you'll be not having any knowledge about what is the exam and what syllabus they are going to cover what is the level of question they are asking is it is difficult tough very tough easy simple so until unless you analyze the question paper you will be not able to uh, prepare it very well if you are analyzing question paper then only you can able to prepare your exam 100% so first go through the question papers and the students who are appearing for this one month stay cool calm you have done studied you have you have done the maximum at this time if your tense no no one can help you so be cool calm exam peak time is important where you have to give your time there there is a saying that if you are cool and calm no if you forget some things then also it will get memorized if you are cool and calm so you have to be very cool calm during exams now start only question paper do revisions say uh, little re- references maximum revision help you clear exams so you should have very little references little notes and maximum references i have seen there there are so many students 
to create a book out of a book saying there is a nodes no don't do that stupid stuff if you create a book out of a book what is this nodes if you are reviving a paper and you are just reading that don't do it should be notes should be notes it should be very short cut don't go for paragraphs in notes don't go for it it should be very clear cut i note should be such a way that you should only understand if you are making notes you should only understand the other person should he should be not able to understand a single line of your notes like that you should create your notes it notes should be not essay type it should be a map type when you see that no you should memorize everything there is there is no such thing you should write everything so that i memorize everything no it should be a clear cut blueprint map type if you see once uh, you should remember memorize everything you should not read everything you should memorize everything and i one more tips i'll give if you are reading a book don't start doing notes for the first first reading of the book no first reading should be a newspaper reading for the second reading you start doing the notes first reading when you read no you feel like this point i can't remember this point i can't remember for the second reading when you read no then you feel oh i have remembered this topic which i have read before so for the second reading when you do your notes it will be literally a blueprint for the first reading if you do your notes it will be a other book or a children book or a daughter book of the original book. don't do that this is the very important point and for the other topics general uh, general awareness mental ability general awareness you should be updated yourself it's not like some there are so many students i have seen if they are reading they are reading they are not even speaking to their parents they are not even speaking they are not knowing uh, seeing television they are not into anything don't do that you have to enjoy your life that is also a part of life see education is a part of life which makes you give freedom wisdom and health. but you should not make that you are leaving all other stuff and reading only reading so that you are not enjoying your life when you turn back no you will only see books in your life but no enjoyments you are not even given time to your parents see this is age after this no you go for industries research so many stuff it's depend on your choice but you can't be able to enjoy with your parents at this age what you are enjoying so don't do that also right update your news also don't go for 6 to 10 hours reading read one hour but it should be very efficiently very efficiently it's not like one hour me me pad rahi hu aadha ghanta me whatsapp dekh rahi hu aadha ghanta me pad rahi hu don't do that don't no never ever do that i will see like what have my friend have put status i'll see that once then i'll read no really reading, reading is reading then if you want to enjoy enjoy it afterwards it's not like i'm clubbing both if you're clubbing both exam me clubbing both questions nahi aata they are they are only specific questions okay do that strategy जनरल अवेयरनेस के लिए गो फॉर अपडेट न्यूज अपडेट्स देखो क्या चल रहा है हमारे देश में वो देखो एंड नेक्स्ट मेंटल एबिलिटी बेसिक्स क्वेश्चन आएंगे रिलेशनशिप वाले आ जाएंगे सम वेरी सेंसिटिव टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो शुड बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दैट रीड कामली क्वेश्चन ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन रीड कामली यू हैव लेस टाइम आई नो यू हैव लेस टाइम फॉर एग्जाम See, time management is also important in exam. It's not like me. I will give you one day to solve the whole thing. No, they will give you. There is a limited for everything. So make sure when if it is a very easy question, try to go fast. Don't eat much time for a simple questions for a direct questions. I know there is a question called what is the scientific name of so and so. I know it very easy. It is why do I want to waste one minute time? It is just a thirty seconds question. Leave it. Next, go for the next question. where you have to give much much time see questions if you read very coolly calmly you can answer it very so there is a problem there is a solution in every question see this multiple choice questions are such that you have your answers in front of your eyes but you can't analyze so there is they'll give answer also it's in front of your eyes only but only thing is you have to tick when you will do that if you are very cool calm and very perfect with knowledge knowledge should be gained okay you should read for that it's no other shortcut for that you should do studies for that okay general ability you should you should be having this general awareness and all this stuff usually people go for uh, news updates don't go for newspaper newspaper has so many stuff and this age you can't you, you will be not having what should i read no don't do just have some awareness what is going in uh, what is going surrounding me that's it mental ability go for this simple things like integers even and odd addition subtraction family relationships and 
this is more than enough yeah so uh, salja you told in one thing it was really great hearing you know, everything i mean everything a single flow uh, so just i'd like to just uh, you know uh, just remind once what were the things that salja told like you know how you should be having approach you no know, what I, i felt best about that is like you no know, uh, nothing comes with a joining clubbing as in whatsapp and uh, agriculture is not going to come there is no question will be coming from whatsapp status so <laughs> please avoid that for at least for a two months so at least avoid all the social media platforms and at least i mean you go to see some of the if you feel some of the great or uh, telegram channels are there that can help you and also i'll tell you don't go for throughout the day while uh, searching for telegram questions that i should get a practice and uh, i should get all the resources and all because that is already over you should have in your mind you have to do this i know this questions and this preparation you need to have all the backup so because if tomorrow is a fight or war you 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 are not supposed to prepare for today you need to need to prepare up before a week or before a month so uh, and i will show you one uh, very important thing uh, and then we'll move ahead with the another questions so uh, if you guys see this uh, this is the like you no know, analysis of uh, can you guys see can you confirm me once can you guys speak it out Yes, sir. Can anyone confirm? Uh, full screen. Yeah, it is. It is. It is indeed. It is. So, uh, if you see this previous analysis, 2021 March distribution topic was memory based. It was. Ah, uh, so generally biotechnology nutrition, it has come 12 to 15 question. That was one of the major ah uh, field they have asked. Mathematics was 10 questions. Biology, that is geology and botany, has a 10 to 12 questions. General awareness, it was a 10 questions. Mental ability, five to six question. So you don't have to worry about so much mental ability. Physics, we have to. Uh, you have a eight to 10 questions. Biotechnology, you have a one to two questions. So you don't have to give a so much. I mean, it depends. What Salja told is it depends year by year. They can ask. I know mathematics. They can ask 15 question or nutrition. They can ask this year five question only. and they can prefer to go for chemistry or you know microbiology or biotechnology so that totally depends no wo i mean you might have uh, gone so if you would like to uh, write also you can write otherwise i'll be sending this i'll be sending one group a uh, uh, you know what's the group in the chat box you can join and i'll be sending this this thing otherwise you'll be getting mail whoever has filled the form okay now another thing is what is the important topic they have asked last year because last year pattern changed So law of thermodynamics on uh, electric field and magnetic field because electric field and magnetic field is the two most important chapters. Ah, uh, it's a, it's a series of chapters in twelfth uh, uh, physics if you so if you understand. Now in mental ability it was coding and decoding. It is direction sense test, missing number, even an odd number calculation as Salja was telling. Now in general awareness, sustainable development goals. This is seventeen goals are there. Carbon footprint, welfare schemes. making in the vaccine that's what happened in last year it was in train uh, vaccine development carbon footprint quality management system in mathematics trigonometry differentiation and quadratic equation and in food chemistry i mean and in chemistry and food chemistry protein structure nutrition and rbi calculation so these are the few important thing that has you, you can focus on this year as well they might see or they might not see and, and another thing is we are also trying to analyze from the last paper so you can get into the uh, telegram group of agri vision for you and all now uh, i just i would love to tell one thing uh, mm. this crash course this is a 100% free refund is there uh, if anyone is having any problem in single subject also they can join for single subject it costs only uh, 1400 rupees 1499 if you are feeling weak in mathematics you can join for mathematics if you are feeling in microbiology you can join for microbiology what you will be getting is recorded video lectures of all subjects Topic wise, study material of all subjects, sectional test that we are starting for most of the 15. We have already started the classes, you know. Live doubt session, you can. We have a dedicated group in, I um, mean, WhatsApp group, so you can ask all the question. The study planner that we already pursuing that we have from the couple of months, and there will be 24 into 7 support. And you will be getting this mental ability journal of us also topic wise study material, so you can visit. our uh, website and you can see uh, if uh, anything is there and and the best thing is what you can get is if you have already prepared in feel confident that now you'll be getting selection you should 
you should join and you should get 100% free refund after the selection when you get selected into CFR. Along with that, there will be a agrivision for your kit that includes uh, a t-shirt of agrivision for you and some of the diary and pain. So you'll be also getting that benefit as well. So it is going to be great opportunity. Moving ahead, uh, we'll just go to see this. I'll be sending to the uh, further to you guys now. Uh, this thing I want to uh, take few of the question of students. Uh, then I'll, I'll have a, a more question to you, Salja, because we have got 90, 90, 90 to 100 questions of people. Okay, so Deepak Sachin, how much marks can be cut up this year? Oh, I mean, see, I, I would like to answer this. See, nothing is predictable in this future. How can tell like who is going to die or, uh, you know, or how COVID-2 is not going to happen, COVID-4, COVID-5. It can't be predicted, although what we can predict is last year, what was the cutoff? So it, you need to get at least 60 marks for general people. Uh, it was almost, I mean, uh, Salja would be more clear about that. Can just brief Salja? Yeah, thing is uh, 60 plus is the highest and 54 is the least as per I know. I think 54 I, is the highest. 60 plus is the highest, 54 is the last. Least, okay, okay. Uh, in all categories. All I have seen. Right. The thing is, I want to say it depends entirely on the preparation of the students. If I am scoring 70, I might be the first. But if a person who is scoring 50, he might be the second also. No, it's all comparative. Comparative ranking. Ranking is all about comparative. If a person is studying very well and very nice, he is getting good marks. And you have even negative marks also. Okay. Make sure you uh, you answer the things which you are very confirmed with okay please don't go for cut off final you should give give a hundred percent yeah there is a point of cut off also but make sure you give minimum 50 percent is there you should be able to score more than 50 then you are eligible for cftra that is point 